Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the 30th here, 30 Jan. Last two days of the month. BOE today, right? So uh, that's going to be a focus on the currency side. Currencies aren't doing too much, as we all know. Uh, lowest fall in history. Um, let's take a look at Euro just to uh, give you reason to cry. 0618 last night. Spoos are down 20 handles from the close. Uh, and we're 0618. Silly. Anyway, um, take a look at this uh, cable. A couple things come to mind here. There will be stops on the downside here. Our bias is downside. This is a redraw, so careful on that line. But really, where where's the risk going to start? Probably through 50, 129.50, and then really it gets going through 129. Um, markets are saying it's 50-50 on the cut um, versus hold. I'm pretty sure you have to sell on a cut, but how do you sell? What's the gap going to be? Where's it going to go? Um, very, very tricky on uh, on these kind of situations. Do you have access to high-speed trading? Um, what kind of liquidity do you have? How do you control risk? Etc. Etc. So you got some time now six hours to go uh, before Chili Carn Carney comes in with his last meeting. One of the reasons I think he's going to cut is the institutional world in the UK really they hate this guy um, and all the Boris people don't like him. He doesn't like the Boris people um, and I just think that you know, he kept his powder dry all throughout Brexit and now going into this negotiation and going into what he I'm sure is very well aware of the top of the cycle um, you know it'd be an interesting sort of going away party for him to cut here I have no uh, real insight this is just intuition this is just the the thoughts that are dancing in my head. Um, I'm not close to the UK political situation. I don't know anyone at the BOE, um, but this is what I'm thinking, uh, and this is what I'll be prepared for on this side. Anyway, enough said about sterling. Well, I guess euro sterling. We need to um, just keep in mind if they do cut this 85. 90, 8590, 86, uh, 86 to figure. It's 140 points away, so it's a long, long ways away. But if they do cut, this will be in play on Friday. So this is a very strong technical level. Um, just something to keep in mind. Probably not in play today, but but maybe. But it's, it'll be a, it'll be the stretch point today, not the not the entry point. Uh, let's go to ES. Uh, we talked about it yesterday. You wanted to be sellers between 90 and the figure. And, you know, we think this is 30, 3180, 30, 30, 3290, or 3160, 3290. Um, you know, we think we're going to break this 3180 level maybe this week. Uh, it's what 50 70 handles away it's two percent away so it's not uh, it's not ridiculous you just got to keep your eye on the news flow keep your eye on um, you know how things are looking in China is this thing spreading uh, and then also keep your eye on earnings see how earnings are coming out and keep your eye on fixed income, which is sort of a barometer for risk. You see fixed income had a chance to turn, but it did not turn. 
bang did not turn getting close to um, getting time to sell boons again um, let's take a quick look at the yield there minus 37 7 almost 38 basis points let's keep in mind it went to 80 basis points minus 80 um, but we do like selling boons let's call it let's 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 try and look at this more uh, closely at, at minus 50 basis points so another another 13 basis points to go um, one of the reasons we're doing this is we just don't think uh, we think the the solution in Europe is not more QE it's they can't take rates any lower um, and so it's gonna end up having to be fiscal and this will end up being inflationary this is our call or it's not even inflationary in a sense it's just a question of supply and demand right if they are selling a shitload more bonds and they're doing less QE there's less buying there's more selling fixed income has to go down this is our premise um, we're gonna get back into this trade somewhere between minus 40 and minus 50 basis points something to think about but more importantly uh, you know, short equities is 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 the game in town here. Um, are we going to make a new low today? You know, we're we're down 0 0.6, and it, this is overnight and in Europe. Um, maybe, maybe are we going to have a 60 handle day today? I don't know. You got to be aware of that, and you got to just stick with your core short here. Uh, if you're not short yet be careful here now now you're like right here in the middle of this this range you want to play on the edges of the range not in the middle um, so you want to have your core on here you should have a good average by now stay core short what else is going on nothing else in Europe um, we had some South African bullshit what was that PPI I'm not really sure what to make of that, so no comment there. Um, Bundesbank talking. Oh, yeah, German inflation later today. Speaking of boons and whatnot. Um, and then we have fourth quarter U.S. GDP. I guess that's pretty important. Um, jobless claims as well. Uh, backward looking number the GDP so we'll have to uh, we'll have to see it's been very unvolatile that but we will be ready for action there BOC uh, Beaudry Beaudry is speaking late today no one really cares about that either um, so we got a little, few numbers in the US we're basically just looking at this stock market and we're looking at the crude market um, short crude uh, we talked about this uh, up there at 5397 um, short crude it looks like the way we're gonna break this 5210 probably today um, sell high ones here. I don't. The price action in crude is pretty hectic, right? So it, it doesn't trade like a currency. So when in doubt, and you have a volatile animal like this, you want to sell high ones. I don't trust selling low ones in these commodities. I don't have a really good feel for it, the way I do in currencies. So just sell high ones if you're not in it yet. You probably are going to see 53.50 at some point today. It's shit just shit shifts around a lot but uh, short crude short equities is where we stand currencies uh, wait for the BOE um, some of our more volatile favorites a little late in the day now for dollars are even that had a slow night last night seven handles um, with this risk off dollars are should continue higher technically there's no nothing to do here um, the recent high was 70 but don't really know what to do with that so I'm just gonna leave it alone um, but don't really trust the czar as ever um, oh yeah let's look at Euro Swiss 
all this risk off has brought Euro Swiss a little bit lower. But the damage was done. Um, the damage was done. This bullish engulfing on Tuesday. We don't think we're going to trade down below 106.63. Let's call it 106.66 just because that's a fun little number. We don't think we're going to get below triple six down there. Uh, <laughs> that's an oddly fun number for our number files out there. You should be able to scoop this up a little bit lower with this risk off um, tone. So try and buy low ones in Euro Swiss and uh, trade around the long side. And if you're scoring at home, if Euro Swiss is not going to go lower and Euro, Euro yen and dollar yen is going to go lower, um, Swiss yen is your, is your horse. So selling high ones in Swiss yen, I think, for the next uh, couple of weeks is always going to be a good one. We 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 nailed that fucker at the t at the high up there, um, and the dollar Swiss turn, the Swiss basket turn. Um, we like reselling this sort of one twelve fifty between one twelve fifty and one thirteen. Um, but you may that may those offers may end up being very very lonely if you know what I mean. Let's take a look at the weekly on this. Um, one week, two week. This thing goes in like six week patterns. So use your imagination. If the next four weeks are bang, 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 um, pop, 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 popcorn. Uh, we're back at 107 uh, in the next four weeks, Swiss yen. All right, I've said enough. Uh, there's actually not a lot going on today. BOE is the main event, uh, and then um, stocks and crude, we just continue to do what we're doing. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.